Good morning and a very warm welcome. You are watching Janata Television and this is the English Bulletin with me, Anusta Acharya. The top stories first. <music> Government confirms new variant of coronavirus in Nepal issues warning that highly virus is highly infectious. Coronavirus claims 196 lives across the country. Number of active cases climbs to 114,000. UML Task 4 meeting concludes, leaders decide to prepare work procedure to settle dispute. India vaccine maker to share thoughts by end of the year, low-income countries scramble for alternate supplies. And Manchester United held by relegated Fulham, manager says the draw is a wake-up call for Europa League. And now the news in detail. An early morning earthquake rattled Kudi Bulbule area of Lamjung district today. According to National Earthquake Monitoring and Research Center, the quake occurred at 5.42 a.m. today morning with its epicenter in Bulbule area of Lamjung. The center informed that the quake measured 4.8 magnitude in Richter scale. Tremors of the quake were felt as far as Gorkha, Tanahu Kaski, Manang, Chitwan, Dhading and Kathmandu Valley. The extent of damage caused by quake is yet to be obtained. A new variant of COVID-19 has been identified in the country. According to the Ministry of Health and Population, the new variant was identified yesterday while conducting sample tests in different parts of the country. With this, three kinds of variant have been recorded so far in Nepal. The new variant was identified among 35 sample tested in coordination with WHO as the CSIR Institute of Genomics and Integrated Biology India. Spokesperson of the ministry, Dr. Samir Man Adhikari, shared that the new variant is highly infectious and alarming to all age groups. Groups. This is the same variant identified in India recently. Coronavirus has claimed 196 lives across the country in a single day, a report. The government yesterday confirmed 196 deaths across the country due to coronavirus. With this, the death toll has climbed to 5,411. The Ministry of Health and Population also reported 8,136 new cases of coronavirus across the country through PCR test. The total cases of coronavirus in the country have climbed to 472,354, while the number of active cases has increased to 114,529. According to the ministry, altogether 352,000 414 infected persons have recovered from the disease in the country so far. Nepal is currently among the top 43 countries that have been most affected by the pandemic. The USA tops the list with over 33.74 million confirmed cases, followed by India with more than 25.45 million cases. Coronavirus has infected more than 164.6 million people across the world and claimed over 3.4 million lives. This is Janata Bulletin. We'll be right back after a short break. Welcome back. After the break, we continue with other national news. The first meeting of the task force formed to settle the CPN UML intra party disputes concluded with the decision of preparing working procedure, jurisdiction, and code of conduct. The meeting that took place at Singadarbar yesterday concluded with these decisions and will again meet today. According to Task Force member Dr. Bhim Rawal, the meeting has appealed to all leaders and cadres to keep intact the party unity to narrow down the gap and perceptions regarding the two factions. UML Chairman and Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli and Senior Leader Madhav Kumar Nepal has agreed to form a 10-member task force to resolve intra-party disputes last week. And now the news from Economic Front. The Ministry of Forest and Environment has approved the Environmental Impact Assessment Report of the Electricity Transmission Project under the Millennium Challenge Corporation, a report.
द प्रोजेक्ट इज टू बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड बाई द मिलेनियम चैलेंज अकाउंट नेपाल विद अमेरिकन ग्रैंड एंड को फंडिंग फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट अफ नेपाल अकोर्डिंग टू एम सी ए नेपाल द रिपोर्ट अप्रूव रिसेंटली बाई द गवर्नमेंट हेज प्रपोज मेजर्स टू अवॉइड मिनिमाइज और मिटिगेट एडवर्स इम्पैक्ट हेज फर नेपाल इन्वायरमेंटल लॉ एंड रेगुलेशन एंड इंटरनेशनल बेस्ट प्रैक्टिसेज फॉलोइंग द एप्रुवल अफ द रिपोर्ट एम सी ए नेपाल विल नाउ इनिशिएट अ प्रोसेस टू रिसीव द एप्रुवल फर द यूज अफ नेशनल फॉरेस्ट एरिया एंड रिमूवल अफ ट्रीज The government of Nepal and the U.S. government's MCC signed a compact in September 2017 for undertaking two major projects. One of the two projects is the electricity transmission project, and the other is road maintenance project. Time for a short break here at Jana Tablet. In stay tuned for international news. Welcome back now the international news The Serum Institute of India has said that it hopes to start delivering coronavirus vaccines doses to other countries by the end of the year The delay will significantly set back global efforts to immunize people against COVID-19. The institute is the world's biggest vaccine maker and the main supplier of COVID-19 vaccine doses to the UN-backed COVAX scheme. The UN aims to distribute coronavirus vaccines to low-income countries at no cost. India halted vaccines exports a month ago to deal with the explosive surge of cases on the subcontinent. The move has left countries including Bangladesh, Nepal, Sri Lanka and many in Africa are scrambling for alternate supplies you are watching janata bulletin and now the latest from the world of sports Manchester United's Premier League draw against relegated Fulham will be a wake-up call before next week's Europa League final against Villarreal, says manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Edinson Cavani welcomed the return of fans back to Premier League with a brilliant 40-yard lobbed goal, but United were unable to mark the occasion with a victory as Fulham came back to draw at Old Trafford. Aside from a handful of games at the Lucky Few Cups in December, supporters have been absent from top-flight league football since 9 March 2020. We are at the end of Janata Bulletin and the headlines once again. Government confirms new variant of coronavirus in Nepal is this warning that highly virus is highly infectious. Coronavirus claims 196 lives across the country. Number of active cases climbs to 114,000. UML task force meeting concludes leaders decides to prepare work procedure to settle dispute India vaccine maker to share thoughts by end of the year low income countries scramble for alternate supplies and Manchester United held by relegated Fulham manager says the draw is a wake up call for Europa League And that's all from the English news desk for today. You can follow Janata Television and our programs on various social media platforms including on our website janatasamachar.com. Keep watching Janata Television. Namaste.